Hey everybody, thanks for wandering back out to the Digital Hermitage. I'm the Hermit, you can call me Hiccup, and we're making some tree houses in the swamps today. I say tree houses, plural, because there's going to be more than one. So yeah, I've got this really cool idea in mind, and I, I'm sure it's been done before, but I just, I haven't done it yet, and I really want to. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I want to make three nice little circle tree houses, and then connect them with little bridges, and we're going to roof the whole thing. It's going to be awesome. And then we may use some stone underneath to create a little, um, like a little walking area underneath like a little platform uh kind of collaboration area down in the bottom well i've got a bath i can't i don't know it's gonna be cool it's gonna be cool i promise i have this really cool idea in mind let's go try to bring it to life all right a little bit of a run out here and i didn't uh i didn't actually make the trail leading out i was lazy i didn't do it and uh well i'm sorry about it kind of sorry not really it uh <laughs> Okay, well, here's the thing. This wasn't the build that I had in mind. Like, it wasn't. I woke up this morning, and all, all week uh, previously, I've been thinking about, you know, a different kind of build. Um, I had this idea in mind for a three-step fort. Uh, I was going to build a really boxy square fort. Ah, and the fort itself would have been made out of three boxes, uh, each one five by five, but each one also a different height, and they'd overlap a little in the middle. So they'd, they'd kind of... So, you know, it'd be three 5x5 five five boxes kind of all sitting on top of each other a little bit. And then uh, one would be six and a half blocks high. And when I say blocks, I'm thinking of this block. So, yeah, so six and a half of these. So one of those and then, you know, one of the little ones on top. Yeah, six of those and then the other one would be three. And then the other one would just have a nice little railing around it pretty much. But, yeah, it would have been a really cool. I, I don't know. It, I, it, but, you know, it kind of felt a little too much like the ones we've been doing previously. Anyway, I've talked your ear off the whole way out here. This is where I want to try and build today. I've already been out here experimenting because I did. I just had this inspiration, and I was like, you know, we haven't built up in the trees a lot, and I want to do that. And one more word on these trees. So, man, I don't know when it happened, and maybe I'm imagining it. Um, I've been known to color my memory in my own way. <laughs> uh, but uh, this is... um. Yeah, there's something about these trees. I feel like these branches were all a little more varied a long time ago. Maybe that, maybe that's an older... This is like a newer... Well, it's semi-new. I don't actually think... Yeah, no, no, no. This one has the Miss Lens update. It does. Uh, so it's that. It's at least that new. But uh, yeah, man, all these little branches that come out, they, they start coming out a lot lower. I feel like I used to be able to build a lot higher. This right here, according to these ladders, is five stories tall, and that's where I want to go today, but I don't need any of that, so I'm going to tear all that down real quick. I'm going to clear this path between these two trees, and we're actually going to try and draw our uh, first floor on the floor here. Uh, yeah, let's get let's uh, let's get started. Oh, I'm also going to try and add this into the build, because this looks fun. Uh, we'll see how that goes, though. I don't know. I'm going to try. Anyway, yeah. No, let's get started. I might be building too big. This may end up being too big to do. Oh my gosh, that came out pretty good. It looks like we need to go this way a little. Okay, so let's 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 grab this one. Oh no, okay, I gotta build the ground up out here a little bit. Okay, now which one did I say? It was this one. This one right here, I think. With the sun. Yeah. Let's uh go right across, which is what? This, this one. Alright. So let's pull this one out just a little more. Gosh, I'm not going to call it perfect, but I think that's pretty darn close enough. I like it. We're going to work with it. That looks good. All right. Now, I wanted to build five stories up, so we're going to go ahead and get ourselves upstairs. One, two, three, four. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. That one's going to go right through, but that's fine. And here's five. Nice. All right. Now, we've just got to rebuild our whole flooring pattern. Go ahead and, if I can. No, it's not going to snap there. Okay. Ah! Uh, ah! <laughs> That's not what I should be doing. That's okay. We're going to do this. Line that one up. And we can place it on the front. There it is. Okay, this is going to get tricky. There we go. We'll build one at a time. Oh, I'm going to have to get that connected. Ooh, it's looking like it's going to drop already. But look at this. 
I love building with trees nearby of any kind, honestly. As long as the trees are nearby, you can build pretty tall and always pretty much guarantee yourself some really good support. Look at that. All right, so I got to do this all the way around, which is going to take a minute and be a little tricky. But not too bad. Look at that. There it is. Full circle. We did it. All right, let me fill in all the gaps. And I am just sticking with the big piece. We're just going to use these two by twos pretty much everywhere to, to fill in the gaps. Keep up our pattern pretty much. There is one. There's another. All right, yeah, now we just got to hide all these gaps. And what I'm going to do here is actually extend these uh, sides a little bit. Um, what, you wanna, what I'm going to want to do is pick a side right now. And I want to start with, I think, this one. Oh, man, yeah, okay. <laughs> We're going to start with this one. And I'm going to build out one whole floor on each side. I wouldn't worry a whole lot about uh, the clipping or the twitching. Because we're going to hide that with a lot of, like, you know, decoration and flooring and whatnot anyway. Uh, and then we're going to do the same thing just all the way around. And it's going to give us these nice uh, long angles. That's not working anymore, is it? Oh, yeah, it is. There it is. Okay. I was, like, doubting. Okay, no, 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 it's going to line up. Okay, so yeah, no, you just want to keep going with that because it's going to extend everything out uh, and give these sides a better shape. Yeah, just like that, just like that. Let's just do this the whole way around. Oop. Make sure you're snapping onto the piece, yeah, like the the piece. Um, <laughs> if you pick a middle piece, snap to both sides of it. There we go. That that Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah, snap to that side and that side. Okay, I definitely wanted to use a little bit more iron today, a little bit more iron pole today, especially maybe for the bridges. Um, this bridge probably won't need it, but, you know, we may theme it anyway. This one might. Uh, <laughs> but I do kind of want to use some more of this iron stuff. We are getting into the late phases of the build-through in the swamps here, uh, and, it, and it does make me want to play around with the iron a little bit more. It does make me want to get bigger with the uh, with the builds too so the next one we may just go crazy uh <laughs> I, I may just make it absolutely massive with some walls and stuff but uh who knows it i don't know anyway uh this is this is a lot of fun though but i just wanted to throw that out there probably going to use some more iron today feeling like it's gonna be fun to mess with and just i just want to get some more of the accents around here like do you know how cool this is gonna look is it well no spoilers no spoilers okay um yeah, with all that being said, I think I do want to commit and just start using him. I, I just, I really think it's going to give this this build a really heavy-duty look. If it helps, you can start in the middle and go out to make sure that you get all of the same exact snaps. Yeah, you got to pay attention to those snap points. Um, and You'll notice a lot of these are turning red, I think. Nope. Oh, some of them are red. Why is why is this green over here? Oh, because I just placed it right. Yeah, they're fading to red. Um, we're going to have to go underneath and connect a lot of these to the tree in order for them to actually get the support that we want out of them. Because we do want as much support as possible. I'd like some taller walls here so that we can live in comfort. This place is going to look heavy duty. So yeah, I want to go to these corners and actually like add them in all the way to the tree, but we can't do that from here. I don't want it to stick up through the floor at all, so we're going to go underneath and free place them underneath and, and give it the support that way, uh, which we'll go ahead and take care of, I guess. Let's do it. And what might make it a lot easier is if we build ourselves a nice little workstation. I'm thinking this was probably tall enough. So I'm going to go ahead and build myself a little circle around the tree with these real quick. Okay, actually it looks kind of cool, like, I don't know, having that ring up there and this ring down here, I actually think it looks kind of cool, but we're not going to keep it. This is just replacing these. Alright, hard place to do it, because of the lighting, I won't bother you guys with that one, we'll do it right here where you can see pretty good. Alright, so we see where it is, we see where it lines up, nice and easy. I'm going to go ahead, oh look at that, it almost didn't move it at all, sweet, that's exactly what I wanted. And then we'll just bring it right back into the tree. That should really change the tune of everything up there. Oh, yeah. We're going to do that everywhere, all the way around, on all these corners. Ah, it does look like we have two snap points, because they are a little different, which is... Well, I'll show you how we're going to work that into the upper build. I think for this lower part, it doesn't really matter. You can almost want to... You can almost try to just center it, almost. Like that. 
Oh yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. As long as it's underneath those two outer iron beams, you'll get support. And it works out. Alright, I just gotta go do this everywhere. Bring you guys back in a little bit. Oh yeah, and that looks awesome. And I think just for looks, and I love that we have these now. I love having the uh, the angled iron pieces. I think I'm going to go around and just do this everywhere uh, where they all meet. Just to give it a little bit of an extra dimension. Just to add that little bit of extra support illusion. We don't really need it. This is just mainly for looks, but I think it looks pretty cool. Yeah, and the way we did it, you can't see any of those supports coming in through the floor. So the floor remains nice and clean. Love it. It looks awesome. All right. Now, we're going to get to doing the edges here. All right. So, tricky part about these edges. Lots of snap points on the edges. What you want to do, or what I want to do, is you're going to take one side and, you know, square up your beam with that. And then stick that one on its edge. You go. You know. You know what one it's gonna be because these. Uh, that one's not lined up. Because the two vertical. Let me zoom in as much as I can here for you guys. Up, 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 up. There you go. That's what you're looking for. You're looking for the two vertical pieces to line up. Uh, get, get, get. Yeah, you're looking for that right there to line up, and you'll know you've got the right snap. Oh, I could have probably twist that one. Uh, yeah, just to show you guys again. Twist it so you've got that lined up. I am just like that, and then you know you're good to go. So, same thing on the next corners. You're just going to want to go and find the outer side of it. And it should be the only snap point left. Uh, I'll do it again over here. Um, should be the only snap point left on the outer side. There shouldn't be really anything else to snap to now. And there we go. Look at that. And I definitely want to go double up on all of these, so I'm going to go ahead and go back around and do the same thing, because I definitely want to get some taller walls in here. So just give me a minute to go around and do that. There we go. Looking good. All right, then we're going to take the... Yeah, let's keep the roof a little low since we do have to kind of come in a whole lot. Um, this is going to be tricky, though. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and double up on that, too. Just bring it all the way to the tree. There we go, we're gonna do that. And we're just gonna repeat that process all the way around as well. There we go, look at this, man. Heavy duty. Oh man, that looks awesome. That is a, uh, yeah, that's a nice little platform that is. I almost wanna go one more out uh, maybe make this our main platform, give it kind of like an outer edge. I don't know. This is really nice, though. All right. Let's toss some walls up. All right. Let's just start with some half walls. Kind of want to view out this way. Actually, no, that might be a bridge out that way. Let's start with the middle, shall we? Snap to the middle. There we go. That's a little better. Yeah, that, that's probably actually going to be our bridge out that way. So I'm going to leave that open right there. And let's go ahead and just seal the rest of this stuff in. Uh, do I want windows? I'm going to want windows for sure. Um, but again, I want to build from the middle out. So we'll put the window here. That'll look good. No window here. Not really much of a view out back here. And again, if you're building along, you can always decide where you want your own windows, you know? Check out where your views are. Always build custom for your spot. See, that's a pretty nice view right there. We're gonna get a big window here. Let's get a big window here. Yeah, there we go. Great big window. Oh man, yeah, that's gonna be nice. All right, we don't need a window here then. We're gonna have the big one right there. And this one's a little off-center to... Well, actually, if we build it here, it might line up a little better with the tree. So maybe we'll make that our door. That's going to be a skinny little door. Man, this one seems to line up so perfectly. It's going to be great. I just know it. I got a good feeling about it. This one, though, I'm thinking about using the centerpiece anyway. 
And even though it's not going to line up perfectly, maybe we can make something a little different out there, a little unique, you know? I think I'm going to do that. So let's go ahead leave that open for a doorway as well. Oh, wow. Definitely want a window here. That's a great view. Do we want another big one? I don't know if I want another big window there. Just go with the little window. All right, let's double it all up. Just putting those little cross beams in to seal in the sides of the little uh, little cross beams themselves. Uh, it really seals. Outside snap piece. There we go. All right, man, that looks awesome. I don't want to get a peek of it from the outside. Oh yeah, nice and boxed in. That looks great. Let's go ahead and outline our windows too. I know, I know, this is getting to be a little bit too much iron, even for me. I'm just like, man, would I spend this much? <laughs> you know, like, would I spend this much to build something like this? Maybe, maybe. It'd have to be pretty mid game or late game. That's better. Still not sticking through in the middle just because of the, the angled beams, but that's all right. Man, that looks great. This place is awesome. All right, so roofing. I'm really excited to get to the planes. We can get our other roofing. And that'll be really cool, but for now, we're still using this stuff. We're going to make it work just fine. All right, let's go up through the middle on each piece. Nice. All right. And then, like I said, just straight up from the center on all of them. We're going to go back in and fill the gaps in in a little bit. Darn you, tree limb. Oh. Oh. Ha, we got it. We did get it. I'll have to get up there and finish that one. All right, let's see if we can just uh, make ourselves a little staircase to get upstairs. Look at that. <laughs> for the flooring and the wood and stuff, and it is like, oh yeah, no, we are touching foundation. It's ridiculous. All right, let's get up here. Oh yeah, look at this. This turned out perfect. It hides the beams a little on the bottom, but up here at the top it doesn't, and it looks good. I like this look. Oh, this is awesome. And I think we are all sealed in. Look at that. Look at this. Oh man. <laughs> That's just too cool. I'm going to do... I'm going to do this, too. We're going to go ahead and just make a little path all the way around the outside because, yes, right? I mean, you got to. You got to have a little walk around on the outside of this. There we go. Very nice. 
And to mesh these two together, we'll probably just use these one by ones. And they're gonna overlap a little, just like that, but that'll be all right. We'll be able to hide it pretty good. You can always just use one more piece right there to connect those. Yeah, let me go fill in all these gaps. Just take me a moment. There we go. Yeah, definitely go around and use that middle snap point. I had a couple of them that just didn't line up quite perfectly, but now we're good. Oh yeah, they just stick out a little bit and we're, it's gonna be really easy to hide that anyway. We're just gonna do another, the same thing we did. You know, we'll, we'll do this for that side and this for that side. It creates this cute little divot. Yeah, adorable. I love it. <laughs> oh, and you know, just to keep with the theme, we probably will go ahead and add some of these beams. Or I don't know, maybe we will, maybe we won't. Probably will. Oh man, this is looking awesome. All right, we need a staircase. We need a way to get up here. Um, so let's go ahead and try to add that on somewhere. Shouldn't be too hard. And I kind of want it to spiral a little bit with the rest of the house. That'll be cool, I think. So definitely want to keep it on the outside of the house too. Let's go ahead and do this. Ooh, right here on the edge. Darn. All right, let's do it the let's do it the safe way. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and build that third piece out because why not? I'd like a bigger landing up here anyway for it. Nice. And let's begin our descent. I am gonna use ladders. They're faster, and I don't mind them. The stairs are all right, but they take forever to get up and down. Well, to build anyway. They definitely are a smoother walk. I'll give them that. go. Hmm. Might want to just platform it and twist it in right here. There it is. <laughs> nice. Looks like we're going to need support too. I might as well just go ahead and support it all the way down. Just in keeping with the pattern and what we've got going on. I'm going to use some of this. Oh no. Place that last one. There we go. Now we have a nice little turn in. I can get rid of a lot of this stuff now. Let's go ahead and tear down all this support and, and base health structure to get rid of all of it. Nice. Hmm. I'm trying to decide. <laughs> I don't know if I want to keep with the spiral image that we've got going on and do that, or if I want to pull it this way. I don't want to pull it this way. Although part of me just wants to run it straight down. Like, why Why wouldn't we, you know? Uh, hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Actually kind of like that. I don't know, though. I like this turn. You know, we're going to turn it again. Just because. Just because. I think it looks cool. Yeah, definitely going overboard with the iron pole today. I hope you guys can forgive me. I'm just having fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Probably going to do the whole railing out of Iron Pole too. Why not? I mean, uh, probably do the fencing here with this, too. Uh, that'll be part of the decoration phase, probably more so, though. Uh, yeah. Ah, but yeah, there's a little teaser of what I think it'll probably look like. Right, doesn't that look solid? I think that looks really, just really awesome. really seal it in. <laughs> ah, yeah, that looks really heavy duty. Man, this is just going to be awesome. The iron tree house. This is <laughs> That's pretty cool. It is a lot of iron, and I probably will use more just for looks, you know. It's just for building. It's just for fun. But man, it's going to look really cool. All right, now, I wanted to build multiple of these, but we've already built one. And uh it's taken a while to do that. And I'm going to have to make copy copies of this. And we are just going to literally copy it exactly. Let me show you guys what I had in mind for the uh, the railings out here. I know I, I did an example, but we'll do another one out here. And then I was probably going to use some of these to seal it up. Oh, yeah. And then you turn it, do the same thing all the way down the other side. It's going to be heavy duty. It's going to seal us in. It's going to look awesome. 
I may have to go and add some iron pole around the bottom just to really give it like a weighted finished look. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of iron pole in this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel like it was just the last episode. I was like, I like to keep these to be like medium size builds so that they're definitely doable. And you know, you could, you could do all of this with the normal wood pole and it would look just fine. It really would. I just, I don't know. It's getting later in the build through. I want to build with some more iron and just like really really kind of just show off how heavy duty and beautiful Valheim can really get if you're willing to put the time in and collect the material and if you ever saw the iron party in my hearth and home playthrough then you know what I'm talking about because the iron party gave us so much iron to work with and there is so much iron in this world anyway all right let's build a bridge I'll show you how I'm going to build the bridge and then we'll connect at least the two trees together then I'm probably going to let it run over to the decoration phase after that There we go. Okay. Now then, where were we? Where were we? Ah, yes. And it should be quite easy to bridge over with Iron Pole. Uh, Iron Pole really keeps its... Really keeps its, uh... Ah, support strength as you build out with it. Ooh. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> Oh yeah, we're getting there. Probably can't do this from the bottom, unfortunately. I think we're just a little too high up for that. You know, this is making life a little easier. Hiya! Oh yeah, there we go! Platforming! Platforming in the Valheim! Hiya! Oh my gosh. No. That's better. Oh, no. All right, so it didn't line up as perfectly as I wanted it to, but that's all right. That's just fine. Platform to work off of. Twist it once. What, what is that snap to? <laughs> oh, what I'm standing on, I see. Well, that's not good. We got to back that up a little more then. There we go. That's what I wanted. Yeah, there we go. We can just hop around on little wooden platforms right here to make life a little easier. And let's get ourselves back up to where we were. Hey, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> there we go. Okay. I think I've come full circle. Whoa, how'd we mess that up? There it is. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we fixed it. There we go. I'm just gonna fill it in, same way we filled in the other one on the other tree. Just fill it all in real nice. Bada boom. And I'm gonna make another one right here. So we'll have another little addition, another little round tree to live off of. It's gonna be so cool, guys. Oh man, it's gonna be so cool, everybody. You don't even know. You don't even know! I'm gonna have so much fun decorating. All right, let's build the other bridge. I know I just showed you how I was gonna make that one, and it went well, but let's go ahead and make this one as well. There we go, we're going about this pretty much the same exact way. <clears throat> I think that might be close enough, guys. Yeah, I think we're close enough, everybody. Let's go ahead and start trying to get ourselves a nice another loop going. Okay, see, this loop is going to be very much just kind of barely hanging on to the tree, um, which I actually think is pretty cool. Um, it's actually going to make for a really interesting build because this one will have a little more room out here in the front. And it's going to be really tight. Yeah, see how it's already getting really short around here? It's going to be really tight around the back, so we're going to have to... I actually really like that, though. Like, it's going to give it's going to give each of these little houses, uh, each of these little circle platforms their own bit of personality. And it's totally going to be possible because we're going to give the bottoms of these the same kind of support that we gave this one. With Iron Pole, you can really make any of this possible. Again, if you don't want to use too much iron pole, just use the iron pole to get the foundation set and get the under pieces like we've got. 
And like I said earlier, you can use uh, you can use a log pole if you want to on these. You know that would make it look really cool. You can use these normal beams if you don't want to go crazy with the the iron pole. I just think iron pole looks so cool, and then it's just yeah, it's gonna make this look really heavy duty, and I'm just super excited to keep going with it. Oh yeah, we are getting to the limits of that support out there. But that's okay, because we're actually getting closer to the tree again, so we're going to be okay. And like I said, once we get the uh, bottom iron pole supports on, it's not going to make a difference anyway. It's going to be perfect. I like this one. Oh man, and you can definitely, you know, I wanted that one centered pretty well. So we centered that one around the tree really well. But if you want this... If you just want the tree to be at one end supporting it and you want this big open area, you can definitely start with that. You know, get your circle on the bottom of the ground and really just kind of like bring it out as much as you want. You, guys, building out trees, so much fun. So easy. And again, you can do so much of this with uh, the uh, log poles too. Uh, you don't want to, you know, grind out all the iron <laughs> to do this nonsense. Oh, this is so cool, though. This is going to be awesome, and I love that they're all connected. Part of me wanted to make them at different heights, but uh, like I was saying at the beginning of the video, I feel like something happened in one of the updates, and like all of the trees, these little arms, are almost all at the exact same spot. Building over them is really difficult, but uh, building under them makes me feel like I'm just a little too low sometimes. I don't know. But wouldn't it have been cool if some of these were... Uh, on different heights that that would be pretty awesome a little more complicated than I wanted to get well maybe I'll add something in on the decoration just something small just because that idea is there now <laughs> and maybe bigger or smaller over there maybe another a floor on that one actually that one looks like we could build up on one side a little bit more it might be pretty cool I don't know uh, also on the inside you got these branches I know they're they're just they're so in the way they really are sometimes but uh I like to use them as walls um, you just build a wall right across where they are and they kind of add a little bit of decoration don't they yeah it's just kind of like something that looks like it's definitely part of the wall now and I don't mind that we'll build around you know we'll probably put the bedroom back here now that it's nice and isolated and cut off um, and we have another one right here which is perfect for building another wall so we'll put the wall maybe on this snap like that Thankfully, it does look like if I put a door right here, uh, we'll be able to walk right under that branch and everything will be fine. I don't know. I don't mind having the branches in here. You just got to be kind of clever about where you want to put the walls. Um, may even pull that out a little bit more. I'm not sure. But that looks pretty good. We'll, we'll do that. Um, yeah, man, guys, this is awesome. This is really nice. And again, it's just going to take me a long time to just duplicate uh, what we've just built on these other two trees and get all the the iron pole uh, foundations all set up underneath them. So I'm just going to go ahead and get to that and do the decorations after I've got it done. And I'll bring you back when everything's looking nice and finished. It's going to be great. This place is going to be so nice. But you've seen the detail work. You know what's coming. Can you picture it? It's going to look better when it's done. I promise it's going to look fantastic. Yeah, no, this is going to be really fun. And I did want to add something out here. Uh, I know that the three of them are surrounding kind of this ship, so I was probably going to add something here and try to include the ship. I'm not sure what yet. We'll see what inspires me as I build. But uh, anyway, guys, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Let me go add on to it. Ooh, look at that. That gives me inspiration, too. May add a staircase down. And that's all it would be, you know? Hang on, let me get up there. Yeah, actually, you know what? That would be really cool. Add an even smaller, like, little downstairs area. Like, we pretty much just have to cut this out. Probably follow this staircase down. Or that, that floor pattern down to keep the, uh, keep the pattern going. Remove that one so that we can actually walk.
my gosh. Yeah, guys, that's going to be awesome. Just a little tiny walk around down here, too. <laughs> oh, man, yeah, and I'll have to do an upper one up there, too. That'll be really cool, actually. Well, so we'll have a little higher, higher piece there, a little lower piece here. This is going to be a really cool build. Anyway, I've definitely just sat here and... Oh, man, the decoration phase is going to be awesome. Again... It's, it's, it's not going to be anything I haven't already shared with you other than, you know, the actual decorations themselves and what I hang on the walls. But we're just going to duplicate this build, this whole build on both of these platforms. Uh, maybe not so big, a little hard spike there. Maybe not so big as this one. That one might be a little smaller. And this one actually I think is about the same size. So, you know, these two would be about the same size. That one would be a little smaller. It's fine. Um... But no, actually, this is going to look really cool. Let me go get to working on this. Let me fill in all the gaps put in all these little details. I'll bring you guys back for the flybys. It's coming right at you. I hope you love them. This has been a fun build. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. That's enough of me. Let's get to the flybys. Here we go! So maybe I went a little overboard on this one. I may have gone a little too much. You know, we may have made this too big, but it was just so much fun. This place came out so well, and I really love how it turned out. 
I'm still trying to come up with a name for it. I'm thinking something involving wraiths. I think that would be pretty cool. We'll see how that turns out. Love this little chair. But anyway, guys, I hope you like this build. Hope it wasn't too crazy extravag uh, extravagant. I know I went kind of crazy with the iron pole and everything, but I just couldn't help myself. I really wanted to step up and make something really cool this time. But anyway, let's go ahead and start our nighttime walkthrough. The entrance is a little lackluster, but hey, you know, it gets the job done. It keeps things out. And it's and it's far away from everything else, too. So I just feel like, you know, if you lead something over here when it's chasing you, there won't be a big deal. Really got a weakness for these, like, hanging torches everywhere. A couple of workbenches. Not workbenches. Uh, a couple of carts out here. I really liked this. This was kind of like the pick it up and go. Uh, <laughs> like a locker room almost. Like, come here, grab your weapon, and get out there and keep fighting. And I really like that idea, especially for a multiplayer server if you've got a bunch of friends you're playing with. This bridge was a lot of fun to make, and it feels really good in the build, uh, just kind of in the middle of everything. It looks really cool. I really like this one. We're going to start down here on the bottom floor. Really had fun. Let me get these going. Ah, uh, yes. There we go. And I did put fires underneath in the backs there. Um, <laughs> They don't really light and turn on all the time. Uh, they do occasionally. Whenever the smoke clears out, uh, the fires actually do work again. But I really like this design for my fire pit. It's pretty awesome. Um, got good storage upstairs, too. I'll go up there in a minute. But yeah, nice little pits to drop into. Nice stairs so you can walk in and out real easy. The fires are just in the back for looks. They don't really serve a purpose or anything. Um, got this nice, easy route upstairs where we can get and access everything. And lots of storage right here. Tiny little confined storage to keep everything nice and safe. Speaking of storage, we've got this wonky little... It is a little wonky. It's a little funny. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's a nice little shed for lots of storage. Nice and neat lots of storage. And <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Check this out. The bridge is just big enough for one of these. We definitely left enough room just so we could pull a cart through. Yeah, look at that. It does work. Totally functional. <laughs> Tiny and tight, but you know, it works. Works real well. I don't know what this is, but I had fun making it over here. I really like it. Just kind of a little, a little something. I don't know. I should have put a maple in the center of it. It's probably what I should have done. Nice little uh, portal area over here. Tiny, kind of compact. I like it though. Easy, easy. All right, let's go upstairs and check out everything. That's awesome. Now you can get up two different ways. I've got a staircase here. That leads you up to the back side of this one, but we're not going to go up this way. I just wanted to access on both sides. I thought that was really cool. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I also am in love with the hanging torches. I just kind of, like, dropped torches down everywhere, and I really think that adds to the look we've got going on around here for some reason. I just really love it. Let's go take a look out here at it. Yeah, look at all the hanging torches everywhere. Kind of a pain in the butt to jump up and give them all uh, resin, but hey... It, it was worth it. I think it looks really cool. Now, let's crawl up this way. So, right here, I've just got a little sitting area where you can meet and plan before you go out. Always got to have nice little sitting areas. We kind of got the same thing tucked back here. Nice little sitting area. Got some trophies on the wall. Just some place where you can come hang out and get plenty of comfort. I think there's nine comfort over there right now. We've got the kitchen in here. The kitchen's kind of smoky and contained, but I really didn't want to mess up the roofs. Um... I'm going to activate Free Fly and show you guys the roof of this place because I really think it came out pretty cool. And yeah, check out that cool little star design we've got going on. It was a neat little roof. Not exactly perfect, uh, and it came out a little funny, but we ended up making it look pretty cool, and it doesn't line up exactly over top of everything, which is also fine by me. I think this place looks pretty cool. Nice cluttered little kitchen. Everything works. You can get close enough to everything. There we go. <laughs> got my HUD back. <laughs> Yeah, you can get real close to everything. The cauldron works. Everything works. This is really cool. I just like the setup. I like making everything really cluttered. This is this is so cozy. All right, over to the main house. We're going to enter from over here. I got tired of using normal doors, so I kind of did these little western hangar doors, and I really like it. Let's go in right here. So this is just as cluttered as I could make it. I've got trophies everywhere. We've got iron beams going through the wall, statues of extra armor. I love the storage in the middle, this big circular thing that I made. And it's not exactly a hexagon or anything, it's just, you know, I kind of tried to keep it as tight to the tree as I could. Uh, fully functional workbench, thing is awesome. 
Really loving it. Super cozy in here. Super duper cozy. A couple more trophies on the wall. Some more cluttery and storage stuff. I love this. This was really fun to build, too. Nice little bench back here. Big old bench. Just long bench against the wall. A couple helmets, knives. And in here, we have our tiny little bedroom. And it is kind of tiny. It's super cramped. It's got a lot going on in it, but it's super cozy. Absolutely super cozy. I love having just... I love having storage everywhere, all above me and everything. Okay, good. And over here we have the blacksmith workshop. Blacksmith's workshop, there we go. <laughs> Lots of food for the hungry smithers. Just some storage up top. Really like using the trees as just kind of a mid storage area. And I probably should get a fire in here or hang something. There is no there is none of that, but like we don't really need it. Um just needed to have this roof so it would work. So I'm not worried about it. Oh, there's a little fire here. Really love this little work area right here, especially the little hole in the middle. This just came out looking so cool. Uh, work these anvils into the stands, into the into the benches right here. Did the same thing over here with the grindstones. I just think this looks really neat, really well put together. I think this, this little forge area came out really well. And of course, if we sneak around the back of the tree and go upstairs, we have our awesome little planning area. Look at that cartography table area up here. Nice little place for everybody to sit and hang out. It's so cozy. This place came out so well. But hey, everybody. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you had fun with this one. This build came out really cool. It is quite big, quite extravagant, kind of a little over the top, but that's what makes it kind of awesome, isn't it? I mean, look at it down there. There's so much going on. I really loved this build. Putting it together was a lot of fun. It was a lot of work. It did take a lot of time. This one was pretty awesome, though. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. This makes our, what, 27th build in the swamp, so that makes sense. I'll probably stay about this big or extravagant with the next couple builds because we are getting to the end of our swamp's builds before we move on to the mountain, which will be a lot of fun. But I've got a couple cool ideas left for the swamps. We'll make some big, really fun builds here in the next couple episodes. But, man, I don't know. This one, this one was pretty sweet. I really enjoy this one. This one came out really, really well. I'm feeling like I've gotten back into it. This is really making me feel like I've got I've got my build going on again. I'm feeling really good about it. I can't wait to do the next one. It's going to be hard to leave this one behind, though. This one was really fun, and it is just it just has a lot of character. But hey, thanks again for hanging out with me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this build. I know I'm just repeating myself at this point, but man, I just, I don't know. I felt bad about the last one, even though somebody even said it was their favorite. That last build, the Simple Swamps House, I'm glad somebody liked it, because I don't know, I felt, I still feel a little like, ah, I could have done better. And I feel like this one is definitely better. Maybe it's just the hanging torches I love so much. I don't know. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. It feels so good to be back playing Valheim and getting into the builds again. Hey, I hope everybody's having a great day. Have a great rest of your day. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks so much for hanging out here at the Hermitage. See you next time.